Well, panel, let's see what you can do with a second challenger. Will you come in and sign in, please? Must be blowing a gale outside. <laughs> Norma Dean, is that right? <laughs> is it Miss or Mrs. Dean? Uh, it's Miss Dean. Miss Dean, where are you from? Miami. Miami? Yes. Yeah, that, uh, I dare say, explains that wonderful color that you have. And we're having beautiful weather this year. Oh, yes. And you also are with the Florida Chamber of Commerce, <laughs> I dare say. Miami. Miss Dean, may I introduce the panel? Panel, Miss Dean, will you join me over here? And uh, do you know how we keep score, Miss Dean? Yes, I do. All right, anyway, just a sec. We get that all fixed up, and there you are. And I will let the audience in the theater and the people at home know exactly what your line is. Panel, uh, Miss Dean is salaried, and let's begin the general questioning. Next in position, Mr. Tom Poston, I believe. Oh. Uh, do you work for, uh, in, in an outdoor capacity? Yes. Uh, does it have to, anything to do with uh, physical, uh, uh, prowess. Exercise. <laughs> exercise, prowess, I suppose I should say? Yes. It does. Uh, do you work for a profit-making organization? We hope so. You do. Is there, is there uh, much travel involved in what you do? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think we would have to admit that in a manner of speaking, you could say that there's a, a bit of travel involved in what you do, don't you think? Yes, sometimes a little more than I'd like. Yes. That's what the fellow said when he wanted to get off of the third floor and the elevator cable broke. Yes, Tom. It isn't a... Uh, <laughs> Go on, Tom. I pass. In fact, I'm leaving all together. <laughs> Come back in here, Thomas. Miss Gilgallan. Uh, Miss Dean, do you do something that it would be unlikely for anyone on this panel to do? Uh, yes. I'll take care of that one. <laughs> uh... Is, is there any degree of suddenness with which you move about? Uh, no, really. Well, now, that's very nice of you, Miss Dean, but I must, I must ask your indulgence here. I would say that there, we would, by our normal terms of reference, consider that uh, there was an element of suddenness in, in uh, some... Of, you mean it's not sudden to you, Miss Dean, because you're prepared, but it would be sudden if it happened to anybody else? Would that be correct? Uh, well, it's not sudden in the sense that it's unexpected, but no. every time it happened to me, I would consider it was very sudden. Yeah. I mean, is there a certain jerk involved? No, that's... <laughs> these conflicts on a high plane. <laughs> uh, you mean is, uh, uh, well, actually here you get into nomenclature, Mr. Arthur. All I right. would think that Miss Dean would agree that there is uh, at some point in, in uh, the exercise. I would exercises. draw the jerk. Could I say a jar instead of a jerk? That, All right. That's a honey. A propulsive <clears throat> motion. Oh. <laughs> yes. Uh, do people watch you when you do what you do? Yes. Would you refer to them as an audience? Yes. Do you regard what you do as entertainment? Yes. Rather than instruction? Yes, I think we'd have to agree. Do you get off the ground? Mm-hmm. 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 Yes. Yeah. Well, do you do something other than being shot out of a cannon? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, do you have anything to do with water? Yes. Is it any sort of fancy diving or being propelled into water? Mm, yes, I would have to agree with that. Yes. Then you do something unusual that, that lands you in either a pool or the ocean. Is that correct? Or a bay? Yes. What could it be? <laughs> she 
dive. She does. Well, what a... Do you dive? That's not my... No, I think dive? we'd have to give you a no, no. on that. That's one down That's in nine to go, Mr. That. Gable. <clears throat> uh, do you have anything to do with guarding people? No. Two down and eight to go, Miss Francis. Are we to rule out skin diving? Yes. We ought to rule that out. Yes. Awfully clever. Uh, I say no. <laughs> Do you dive for something in particular when you dive? You mean an object which would be the end goal in making the dive? That is placed in the water into which the dive is to be made? You're putting pearls of wisdom in my mouth, John. <laughs> yes. That's we, fine. That's may we out. rule out pearl dive? <laughs> Feature. That's the kind of pearls he was giving you. All right. Feature. Three down, seven to go, Mr. Post. Do you enter the water from out of the water as part of your uh, entertaining performance? Do you enter the water from out of the water as a part of your entertaining performance? If she can find another way to enter the water than from out of the water, it'll be the biggest entertainment we ever saw, Tom. You let the little lady answer these questions. <laughs> I don't know if my question now makes any sense. You, you just distorted it out of all reason, John. You remind me of the man who stood in the middle of the road with a rope. He said he had, you had him so confused he didn't know whether he'd lost a mule or found a rope, but go on. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't laugh when I told you about that elevator. <laughs> uh, is, is part of your act entering the water? <laughs> No, well, that's all right. You just will find yes. it. Yes. Is, part of it. is, is that the uh, most interesting and entertaining part of your act, going from air to water? Well, I think here, Tom, we'd have to admit if she didn't enter the water, it would probably be more entertaining, but not yeah. necessarily yeah. nice. <laughs> Maybe she's well, sure it is. on that. Sure that's it is. very good for Is it now. the most, uh, is, is, is the, is the, while you're in the air, the entertaining and interesting part of your act? You, well, we're taking a relative factor from the beginning to the end, we'd have to give you a no there. That's four out of six to go, Miss Kildall. Then there is something that you do after you get into the water that entertains these people. Is that correct, Miss Dean? No. No. That's five out and five to go, Mr. Gable. Then there is something you do before you enter the water that entertains these people. Certainly, that would be considered entertaining, oh, yes. Martin. From an yes. airplane, maybe. Uh, may we have a conference of... You may have 25 Dorothy seconds. Dorothy has an idea. Oh, don't, don't blame me. Please, Dorothy. Dorothy. But, you know, like going through a hoop of fire or one of those things, you know, not necessarily Into that. Into the water? Or, or, or Do you, to, if I may not paraphrase, but quote <laughs> Dorothy exactly, do you go through a hoop of fire or one of those things <laughs> ultimately ending up in the water? Ms. No, Dean? no That's hoop of fire. Six out of four to go, Miss Spencer. Oh. No, but would, would we be correct in assuming that it is some sort of a feat getting you into the water, which is what makes you the star of this particular exhibit that you do? That, not that, but they've had that trouble since she was very small, getting her into the water. <laughs> well, <clears throat> yes. Yes. May we rule out coming out of a parachute or an airplane into the water? We yes. can rule that out. Do you have anything to do on horseback? Do you dive with any... You do die from a horse? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Dean uh, dives 40 it was feet. Nothing. What was that again? Dives 40 feet on horseback into 12 feet of water, I believe. Isn't the it? horse as well. The, ho the whole business, <laughs> Martin. The whole business. I suppose it never occurred to have and the horse on the show. it's not into fire. <laughs> <laughs> what did you horse? say, Tom? The horse jumps into fire? No, no, the horse jumps in the water. Miss, <laughs> I give up. I give up. That's all. A Actually. horse in a cannon? I can't believe it. <laughs> it's a big one. The big horse, and, you know, there you are. I think we've confused them thoroughly. And then we'll throw all these over. We haven't had as much fun give in a little long for the horse. Time. Thanks for being here. <laughs> We'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first, here is a word from our sponsor. <laughs> 